The SpaceX Starlink Mini Dish is available for purchase for a limited number of customers, but it is not what we expected. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time today. We have a little bit of misty morning and that is it. Clean, refreshing, invigorating. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today's a Starlink day. It's a Starlink mini day. It is available. Many of you have asked me, when is it coming out? Is it coming out soon? I said, probably within a month. Once the FCC gives them approval, usually within a week or so, it is out. And that's exactly what happened. It is now available, but like I said, it is not exactly what we expected. A little bit sad for many of you, but we're gonna break it all down for you today so you know exactly what you're getting and what you're not getting with the Starlink Mini Kit. Now, did everyone get the email? No, <laughs> only a certain number of people did. And one of you guys out there, Carl P, won't give his last name, sent me over his email so I can show it to you. Now, over the course of the last few videos, I talked about this mini dish coming out. A lot of you guys said, oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna go with that instead of going with the standard because then I can get into SpaceX Starlink at a cheaper price, even if the speeds are not as good. A little bit slower. I'm okay with that with the cheaper price. And the answer to that is uh, no, 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 no. SpaceX Starlink already thought about this. They said, well, what we're going to do is we're going to make this additive and not standalone. And I'll get into that in just a second. Now, before I jump too deep into it, I know some of you guys are new here. Some of you don't know what all the different Starlink kits are, what is available. There's basically five kits out there. You have a flat high performance dish. That dish is something that you would put like on a car or a truck, a trailer, a plane, a train, an automobile of any kind, right? And it's flat, maybe even on a yacht, on a boat. It's flat, but it has like a little wedge maybe 20%, 15% wedge. That's basically not to point it in a specific direction. It points straight up, but so that there's runoff of dew, any type of rain, snow melting off, that type of thing. That is it. That is the big dish. It's about 21 inches by 22. Then the exact same dish comes as like a business class dish. It's about 2,500 bucks. That's not cheap. I know, I know. Anyways, it's about 21 by 22. It is big. It's called the high performance dish. You're going to get faster speeds with that business class, let's call it. And then they have the standard actuated dish. That is the Starlink standard size dish, but it is actuated. It has motors so it can point itself. And then the newer version of the standard dish, that dish just simply has a kickstand and that is it. Now you could attach a pole mount adapter to it. So you can still mount it on a J mount if you wanted to, but you could also just throw it on the floor with the kickstand and then spin it as the app tells you to, to point it. And that is it. You're pretty much golden. Well, now the new kit is called the mini. And the mini is half the size of the standard kit, but it is not half the price. <laughs> now I was talking to you guys on the channel about a video or two ago, how this is going to be half the price or definitely a lot cheaper than the standard. And that didn't happen, which is really, really upsetting for a lot of you guys. The cost of the unit is going to be $599 in comparison to $499 for the current standard dish, which is twice the size. The SpaceX Starlink mini dish is not a standalone dish, so to speak. It is additive. What does that mean? What that means is, is that you have to have a plan already. You have to own a kit. For example, if you have a standard kit, you're paying $120 per month. Well, with this kit, they will send it to you for $599, but it's going to cost you $30 extra per month. Why is that? Well, once again, it is additive. It is not standalone. Now, like I said before, Carl P was nice enough to send in his email that he received from SpaceX Starlink as being one of the select customers that have the ability to pre-order the SpaceX Starlink Mini. And I wanna share this with you. But before we get into it, I wanna say that if you enjoyed this video, even in the least, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very, very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are, 
Thank you, I appreciate it. Click this little notification button here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. Matter of fact, tonight, it's Friday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be live, JC Live. And I believe my wife will be with me tonight. Anyways, join me. And if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out, they're free. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. If you want more Starlink content, when you're done watching this video, don't click it yet. I'll put a little link right over here. It's a link to my playlist, the Starlink playlist with about 300, just under 300 SpaceX Starlink videos, helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, how to do this, that, and the other thing. But most importantly, the why behind it all. This channel has always been about the why. And if you wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, right down here, I'll put a little thank you button. You could click on that, give a dollar or two if you like, but you don't need to. I would really like for you to become a member of the channel. That would be even better. So now that the housekeeping is once again done, Let's jump right into this email. It starts out, Starlink, introducing Starlink Mini. It says the Starlink Mini is a compact portable kit that can easily fit in a backpack designed to provide high speed, low latency internet on the go. When they say low latency, they're not kidding. It's going to be under 28 or 25 milliseconds. Elon Musk is trying to get the latency actually below 20 milliseconds, which will be awesome. It continues, Starlink Mini includes a built-in Wi-Fi router, low power consumption, DC power input, and maximum download speeds of over 100 megabits per second. This is very important. Some people said, how slow is this going to be? Because it's half the size of the standard dish. So according to this, it looks like we're still going to see speeds over 100 megabits per second. That's not bad for such a small footprint. Backpackable, let's call it. As an early Starlink customer, hey, wait, I am an early Starlink customer myself and I didn't get this. Elon. You are invited to purchase the Starlink Mini Kit for $5.99 and bundle the Mini Roam plan with your existing residential service plan for an additional $30 per month. Keep that in mind, an additional $30 per month. Our goal is to reduce the price of Starlink, especially for those around the world where connectivity has been unaffordable or completely unavailable. But in regions with high usage, where Starlink Mini places additional demands on the satellite network, we are offering a limited number of Starlink Mini kits to start for $599. Then you have your order now button. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. The mini Rome service is an additional $30 per month for 50 gigabytes of mobile data that can be used anywhere in the United States. $1 per gigabyte for additional data. So when you run out of your 50, you can pay for that roaming plan because this is a roaming kit. It is not a standalone kit. It is a roaming kit. You can pay an extra dollar per gigabyte. You must continue your residential service on your current Starlink to use the Mini Roam service. Once again, this is not standalone. It is an additive package. Very, very important. Not everyone is going to like this. This invitation is only valid for one order on this account. And then it says, how do you order? It says, that's all you have to do is click on the order now below, select mini option for your hardware, and then check out and pay, and there you go. This is what it looks like. So you have your standard, which is $4.99, and now you have that mini option for $5.99. Well, not everyone has the mini option. That mini option only will show up if you use the link that is given to you by SpaceX Starlink in your email. So let's break it down, right? Let me give you some bullets. I think this is really important to know exactly what you're getting and what you're not getting. So number one, the unit is 63% lighter than the standard unit. Why do they do that? because it needs to be backpackable. You also have it all in one, so you don't have a router and a dish. The, let's say, router is built into it. In a past video, I showed you what the integrated circuit board actually looks like. So, very, very small. That circuit board was, I calculated, about five by four. So it fits perfectly in here. Because remember, the dish is only, let's say, 12 by 10, very small, all right? It's a small, small footprint. Very cool how they were able to do this. Anyways, what is also important is that 
it does consume less power. So the power is going to be right around 25 to 60 watts, 25 to 40 normal use. It will bump up to about 60 if it needs to melt snow, if the temperatures get below a specific amount, right? So we can actually melt snow off it. You don't end up having any type of problems. Now, this is really big. It does provide DC input power. So DC is great. Why? Because if anyone is using a battery backup, they're out and about, they can now plug it directly in as long as you get the exact amount of power that is required. It is going to be using USB-C PD. So that is approximately 100 watts by 20 volts by I think it's like five amps. So if you can generate that power, you are golden. But what's cool, it is DC powered. We asked for this. I asked for this a year ago when I heard this thing coming out. I said, listen, it needs to be DC powered. So people that are going to be backpacking with this thing or using it out and about, they could use solar panels. They could use a battery backup. They could use whatever. And they don't have to worry about inversion or inversion the power from DC to AC because whenever you do that you lose 5 10 20 percent depending on the quality of the inverter anyways this is really great for a lot of us because DC is where you want to be now it does also provide that 100 megabits down that is perfect and that was one of the things that a lot of you guys were asking how slow is it going to be because it is half the size is it going to be half the speed well, not really. They are pulling out over 100 megabits. That is perfect. That is more than enough in the middle of nowhere. On the top of Mount Everest or in the middle of the desert or something. That's more than sufficient. Also, it is going to be less than three pounds. So it's very, very lightweight. And being half the size, once again, makes it very backpackable. Or you could just basically stick it anywhere. Only the size of maybe a piece of paper. A little bit larger than a standard piece of paper. Very, very small. Now, pre-orders are available. You can order it immediately, but once again, it's only for a certain number of people. Only if you actually got that email from SpaceX Starlink as being one of the select that can actually purchase it. As a customer that has been with SpaceX for a long period of time, like I said, where is my damn email? I didn't get it. Anyways, also it is going to be delivered in July. So you order it now, we're towards the end of June. By next month, you're going to get this at your front door. So that's really great. Also the mini, once again, is not a standalone product. It is an additive product. For all of those people that said, I'm going to circumvent the system, I'm gonna somehow play it, and I'm gonna get this instead of the standalone, and maybe I could get a cheaper price and blah, blah. The answer to that is you can't right? Because it is additive. You must keep a plan. Right now they're saying, well, you need to keep your residential plan. The reason being is most likely they only sent this pre-order or this early notification or this very select customers that can order this to residential customers, not to business customers or anyone else. So that's probably why they said you need to keep your residential plan because that's probably the only people that are actually receiving this email. Now, the hardware. Instead of it being cheaper, like we originally said, it was gonna be about half price because that's what Elon was talking about. We were thinking that it was gonna be 199 to maybe 250 for the product. Instead, it's actually more expensive. Instead of 499 for the standard, it is 599, the old price of the standard kit. Now, Elon's goal is to make this cheaper. Like he said, he wants to get this maybe half price, something that is very low or cheap or low cost for people around the world, people that do not have any internet access or they have limited internet access. He wants to be able to make this cheaper. But as always, I think us here in the US will get the stinky end of the stick. Pardon the pun, if you follow me. The stinky end of the stick, basically what I'm saying is we always get the higher prices, everyone internationally have been getting lower prices ever since the beginning. And they're still getting lower prices for SpaceX Starlink. We are paying the premium. That always happens to us here in the US because we're rich. Aren't you rich? <laughs> also, the thing that you wanna be made aware of here is that you are going to get 50 gigabytes of data with this mini, and that is it. After that 50 gigabytes is over, you can buy more roaming data for $1 per gigabyte. That's just how it works. So 
Who is this for? Is it for you? I want to know. Down below, you tell me. There's a lot of positives and there's a lot of negatives now that we didn't know about until yesterday. And that was the reason for making this video. I wanted to share it all with you so that you are an informed customer, an informed SpaceX Starlink buyer. Because yes, while this is awesome, and I think that this is going to be not only really important for the RVers, the nomads, the people that are biking, trailblazing, right? Out there, out and about. But I think it's going to be really, really powerful for our emergency service providers, right? Our people that are out there in catastrophic events like hurricanes and tornadoes, any type of disaster relief, maybe a firefighter that's in the middle of a forest fire. This is going to be a life-saving device worldwide. I really do believe that this SpaceX Starlink Mini is going to change the world. I know that sounds very just crazy, right? Very like, I don't know, fanboyish or something, but I really do see it. Now, I've seen this three years ago when I started using this about 37 months ago. I said, you know, this is the future. And people are like, what are you talking about? It's just a satellite. This is not the future. It's a temporary. It's not. This is permanent. What Elon Musk has said, and I thought is very interesting, is he called the Starlink service, the Starlink kits, as a backup to your landline, all right? And when he said that, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, he gets it. That really is what it is. Because look, all of the goal for every single one of us, even if you're in a rural community like I am, that have absolute, the crappiest internet, I had AT&T, U-verse, or DSL that was getting 1.5 megabits up, 1.5 and 15 megabits down on its best day, all right? absolute crap service, no cable, no fiber, no anything. But our goal, everyone's goal should be to try to get fiber eventually. And once we do have fiber, in my personal opinion, I am not going to get rid of SpaceX Starlink. I am going to use it as Elon Musk said. I'm going to use it as a backup. Currently, I'm using Starlink as my main and I'm using T-Mobile home internet as my backup. So, I really do believe in redundancy. That is my current plan. But if I was to get fiber tomorrow, I would have fiber and I would have SpaceX Starlink and I'd probably shut down the T-Mobile, always having some type of backup, some type of redundancy. Very, very important. Terrestrial, right, which is your fiber, and non-terrestrial. So if something just, if the shit hits the fan here, you're still going to be able to get service from up there, right? as long as you have power. And now that we see that the power can be delivered through DC, through a battery backup, without having to use an inverter, this is a very big thing. Anyways, what say you? Down below, let's have this conversation. Let me know if this is still something that you are interested in purchasing when you are able to purchase it. And once again, I wanna thank Carl for sending over that email so that I can share it with you guys. If you enjoyed the content, Throw it a thumbs up, like I said before. Don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools and my merch and my cups and my shirts and my book and everything else. Pick something up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.